Glorioso em holiness, fearful in praises. Do in wonders, hallelujah, we fly on today. Oh, Lord, we fly on today. Oh, Lord, among the God, woe is like thee, glorious in holiness, cheerful in praise. do in wonders, hallelujah. Uh, as I told us, my son is not around. Pastor Mike supposed to uh, to lay the meeting. He said he may probably lay it for the program. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we shall move forward until Pastor Mike join us. Uh, one challenge I'm having is to be going within the prayer conference and then the Zoom. But God the, will teach us how to do it, and the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. Let us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are King of kings, the Lord of lords, the mighty one in battle, the one that has never changed, the one that will not change. As your son, we come here this morning, O oh Lord. We want to say as usual, we, as we always come. But we want to say unusual because our expectation is great. More than as before. King of King, Lord of Lord, as we come before you this morning, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to meet us at the point of our need in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, mighty Father, we come against all the spirits of buying and selling that does not let one concentrate, that does not want to receive the Holy Spirit, that does not want to receive the message of the Lord, that does want Continue to miss focus when one with Almighty God. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all those spirits, we are casting them away by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Lord of Lord, I pray for everybody that is here this morning, that by the power and the blood of Jesus, Jesus Christ, something wonderful, something that they have never seen before, Something that we have never seen before, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going to do in our life in Jesus' name. And Amen. your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, O oh Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In uh -huh. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to go on a very important topic today which is Holy Spirit. Uh, from my own experience, I've seen that a Christian without Holy Spirit, a Christian without the guardian of Holy Spirit, that Christian can be called an uh, empty barrel. I want to tell you, there's a lot of challenges in this Christian journey. And then uh, it's beyond. Just says, I'm accepting Jesus Christ as my Savior. Uh, when you say you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, yes, people see you as a Christian. Your dressing may deceive them. The way you speak may deceive them. Your mode of life outside may deceive them. But there's something inside 
that is very, very important that you will be battling. And as a result of that, there may not be a success in your Christian journey. And that is without Holy Spirit. When you are in a church like our own, whereby uh, they lay emphasis, we have good leaders, they lay emphasis about dressing, they lay emphasis about your outward habit, they lay em emphasis about your character, which can be mold, cause and no cause which you can pretend, which everybody can be looking at you as a Christian, but you're in your inner world, you are not. Or not you are not. You are battling with holiness within. In this kind of situation, uh, from my own personal experience, I know Holy Ghost cannot live where there is dirtiness, where there is something not good. And that is why you see many of us in our Christian journey, we are still facing a lot of challenges. Failure here and there. Miscarriage here yeah, and there. Yeah. When I'm talking about miscarriage, I'm not talking about only the miscarriage in, pregnant, in pregnancy. Somebody that does not have successful marriage is a miscarriage. Somebody that does not have, I want you to not be quoting me and not quote too much. But let me able to express myself. In your ministry, when there is no success, there is a miscarriage. My dear brother, my dear sister, even in your business, when there is no success, there is a miscarriage. In your family, where you are supposed to be the head, and uh, there you be the tail, automatically you know there is a miscarriage. And then, as a Christian, the question you need to ask yourself, that what is causing all these things? Yes, I accepted, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. And everybody said, in the name of that, in the name of that Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess. But why me? Why the name is not working for me? Why the name is outside my own vicinity? There's something you need to know. There uh, must be something that is necessary in your Christian journey. That's Holy Spirit. And then when you look at the book of Acts, chapter 19, the book of Acts, chapter 19, there's something wonderful there that happened. And uh, we will see the reason why the Christian journey is not complete without the baptism of Holy Spirit. In the book of Acts chapter 19, the book of Acts chapter 19, verse 2 to 4. Let me start from verse 1. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? The question I'm asking you, my dear brother in the Lord, my dear sister in the Lord, my dear participants in the Lord, my dear colleagues in the Lord, the question I'm asking you is this, have you received the Holy Spirit? Then you will be asking that Pastor Matthew, why are you so bothering me about the baptism of Holy Spirit? After all, what the Bible says is this. For someone to enter the kingdom of God, he must be born again. And I'm telling you, Pastor Matthew, 
I remember when that man called me down. He preached Jesus Christ to me. He told me about Jesus. And I told him I accepted Jesus Christ. And I know since then I'm born again. I remember I was in that retreat. And the man was preaching. And the GS was, was laying emphasis about coming to the house of the Lord, about coming to the Lord, about coming to Jesus. My heart was met. And that day, I raised my hand up. And I, I say, by confession, because the Bible believes in confession, two mouths. And I said, I believe Jesus Christ. And I know I am born again. But I want you to tell you, there are a lot of people, at the way you accepted that call on that day, Peter was called, and he answered the call of Jesus Christ. That tells us, Peter was born again. Thomas was called, and then he left everything that was doing, and he followed Jesus Christ. That tells us, Thomas was born again. Judas left everything that he was doing. And uh, he followed Jesus Christ. He accepted the call of Jesus Christ. And uh, you accepted the call of Jesus Christ. That showed us Judas was born again. I can go and go in that way. And remember Demas. Demas was there. He was answering, he answered the call of, he answered the call of Paul. They are working together. You can see it in his life. You can see it in attitude. For somebody to be able to follow Paul, the man that suffered a lot, the man that went through a lot of things, but uh, you can see that this man accepted the, the call of Jesus. You can say, Demas was born again. But when you look at all these people, along the line, they fail. Why? Because there's no Holy Spirit in their life. And I can tell you, when that little girl accused Peter that you are one of them, what happened to Peter? He said he denied. Who told you only just a single girl? Judas was there keeping the money. He was so greedy. To death, he accepted the call of Jesus Christ. That he left the world. I will follow you. That man that called him, he was the one Judas himself betrayed. What do you want to call about Demas? Demas was writing to certain people. He said, Demas was, I mean, Paul was writing to certain people. He said, Demas was with me in this journey. But now, that man, as by the word, goodbye, because of its law for the word. Examine yourself. Let me examine myself. Of all these things, which one is not affecting you? Because lack of Holy Ghost in our life. When you are a somebody that's very busy, you attended the Bible study, you attended the Sunday service, by the time you go to the, to the retreat, December retreat or Easter retreat, by the time the pastor was, was teaching about the Holy Spirit, you are not there. You may not know the importance of the Holy Spirit, especially in a church like ours, where the emphasis lay much on the holiness. And the my dear, my dear, my dear listener, you can see many people that are funny along those lines. They are because there is no Holy Spirit in their, in their life. Let's take Peter as an example. He ran away from a little girl. But when the Holy Spirit came upon him, what happened? He declared the word of the Lord. More than 120 people give their life to Jesus. What can we say about the disciple? That they brought somebody to them. That prayed for them. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't heal. They couldn't heal that particular person. 
Then they went back to Jesus. But after the death of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit came upon them, only the shadow of Peter was in the people. That's the portent of Holy Spirit. What can we say about a lot of things like that that the other people are preaching and then they have to go and report to Jesus Christ. So these, 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 these people, they are not part of us, but they want to be behaving like us. But when the Holy Spirit came, they are seeking people to join them in the church. They don't have to right now. I don't know I that by the power ah, in the blood of Jesus Christ, ah, that Holy Spirit ah, will be with us, ah, and the, the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon us in Jesus' name. There is a force that is coming that is causing the transaction, and we know people take note, and they know that their, their force is causing the transaction. So when you have the Holy Spirit in you, there are something, there are things you are going to have. Exactly. And that's the yeah. reason why we need to pray very well for the Holy Spirit this morning. Yeah. When you have Holy Spirit, there will be wisdom. Yeah. In the book of Proverbs, yeah. chapter 1, yeah. verse 7. The book of Proverbs, yeah. chapter 1, yeah. verse 7. The Bible yeah. let us know yeah. When you, have only, when you don't have Holy Spirit, you cannot satisfy God. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but full despise wisdom and instruction. When there is no Holy Spirit in you, to tell you, that this should not be done. Mm-hmm. Adultery should not be done. Fornication should not be done. Stealing should not be done. All those malpractices should not be done. If the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is not in you to be controlling you, when there is nobody there, you will compromise. And that's the lack of Holy Spirit. And that's why people like that, they can never satisfy God. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will help us in Jesus' name. When there is no Holy Spirit, there will not be understanding. A lot of things will, will happen to you. And that there is supposed to be a promotion into your way, into your, into your life. Because of lack of Holy Spirit, because you don't understand, you become so angry. There's no wisdom, there's no understanding. And then a, a man of God does not show, does not anger. You can see the lack of Holy Spirit. When there's, no, when there's a Holy Spirit in our life, in the book of Proverbs chapter 27, verse 9, we will see, the, 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 the Jesus Christ say, wait for me. And I will say, Counselor, Unto you, but in the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 9, 27, verse 9, we will soon go to prayer by the grace of the Lord. Ultimate are perfume, rejoice the earth, so does the sweetness of a man, friend, but art, art, cancel. Do not forget what Jesus Christ say. Wait for me, and I will send a counselor. Unto you. When you don't have counselor, you will want to repent. When there's no counselor, you want to do a lot of things. You want to you, you want to take the battle onto your hand. But when Holy Spirit is you, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you take Holy Spirit to reign. When there's no Holy Spirit, there's no courage. You won't even able to face that battle. And do not forget what the Bible told you what God told Joshua. Be courageous. Yes, Moses are gone. But look at this Kelala. Through you, I'm going to give it to this light. But only one thing I want you to do is to be courageous. When there's no Holy Spirit that is fighting the battle for you, that is backing you up, you will be discouraged. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, 
God is going to help every one of us in Jesus' name. If there's no yeah. Holy Spirit, there's no knowledge. The Bible says, my people perish because of the, the, the lack knowledge. They lack wisdom. Who is that particular person that can give you knowledge? That if I add this business plus this business, what is going to give me is this. That if I go in a business with this particular man, what is going to result is this. If I act in this way, what is going to be in this? If there's no knowledge is there, that the Holy Spirit is pushing you, there's nothing you lay your hand upon. They are going to be failure. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to give us that Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Many Amen. people, they worship God just in vain. They believe by putting their money. They believe by, by singing. They believe by running in, in land. They already worshiping God. But there's no only less in their life. That kind of worshiping is in vain. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is not there. Uh, another thing is, when there's Holy Spirit in your life, <coughs> there will be fear of God. Nobody needs to be there with you. Nobody needs to, uh, to be supervising you. Nobody to be, taking, to be watching you. Not until your, uh, your, your boss or your, your employer is there, you are going to do the right thing. Not until your husband or your wife is there. You are going to do the right thing. But when there is no Holy Spirit, you compromise. You do a lot of things. My dear sister, my dear, my dear, my dear listener, you cannot see all the failure in our way. All the reason all of us, we are falling one way or the other. It is because we accepted that Jesus Christ. But the journey has not been completed. The Holy Spirit is not there. To assist our holiness. Oh. Now call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, I've seen myself this morning. The reason why my, pro- my ministry is not being progressive. The reason why my house is not settled. The reason why I cannot succeed in this business. The reason why I'm funny and funny. It is because of the lack of Holy Spirit. The reason why I be agent of devil. It is because of the, the lack of Holy Spirit. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Father, empower me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord, the King of kings, Lord of lords. I want mighty Father, I need this Holy Spirit. In order to succeed in my journey, in order to succeed in everything I'm doing, in order to succeed in anything I'm laying my hands upon, Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The King of King, Lord of Lord. Empower me the power of Holy Spirit. When there is the Holy Spirit in your life, there will be wisdom. You will be able to control your own. You will be able to control your house. You will be able to control your husband. You will be able to control your wife. You will be able to control your children. You will be able to control your business. You will be able to control whatsoever that comes on you. Call upon the name of the Lord. If you are a preacher, by the time you get to the pulpit, and then you start preaching, but there is a guidance of Holy Spirit. You will see all what are going to be coming into your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The King of kings, Lord of lords. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Empower me with that Holy Spirit this morning. Father, my journey has been so not smooth. When I'm talking about love, it's so rough in the only nice way. But I've been funny. I'm before me arising. I can see this morning the reason why all this thing is happening to me is because of lack of Holy Spirit in my life. Yes, I go to church. Yes, I preach. Yes, I go on evangelism. But there's nothing to prove for it. Why? 
There's nothing that is assisting me on my way. Yes, people can bear me as a Christian outside. But I know within me, I'm struggling. My wife cannot call me a Christian. My husband cannot call me a Christian. My colleague cannot call me a Christian. All the other people that know me within cannot call me a Christian. Oh, my dear father. I call Thank upon you your name. Even I cannot see the impact of the success. The impact of the Holy Spirit on my business. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The power of Father. Where is that Holy Ghost? I feel the empowered. That's what Paul said. My dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord. My dear father, my dear mother in the Lord. My dear friend in the Lord. My dear colleagues in their Lord. May all that burden that is on the line, all that people that is listen to us on YouTube, all that little that is written on Zoom, all that people that is speaking to us physically, ask yourself, ask you, do you have that Holy Spirit? Do you have that Holy Spirit? When there's Holy Spirit, there's a wisdom. When there's only spirit, there's understanding. Do you even able to understand what it is going on around you? The reason why that battle is coming in. The reason why that battle is coming out. The reason why you have not overcome that battle. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The of the Lord. The of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. This morning, you will baptize with that Holy Spirit. You will baptize with that Holy Spirit. If you have lost it because of one thing or the other, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, this morning you are returning, you are regaining it back in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. 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 When there is the baptism, when there is the baptism of Holy Spirit, by the time they, they take you to the surrender, by the time they, they take you to the palace, by the time they take you to the shrine, you will know it for the purpose. You will understand that there is a reason for it. Know that God has forsaken you. Yes, it may be so big that the, 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 the orphan left you. It may be so big that your wife left you. It may be so big that you leave your, your son. It may be misbehaving. But when you judge yourself very well, as you examine yourself, do you able to understand the word of the Lord? Are you obeying the word of the Lord? Or you are just approaching it? You are approaching every situation the way you are that other people approach it. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Baptize me with that Holy Spirit. Yes, that is not the kind of the work you want. But it is another work that will come on your life. That is not the kind of the altar you want. But another altar will come on your way. That is not because the kind of the wife you want. But it is another another wife that comes on your way. And it is like, oh God, this is not what I requested for. And as a result of that, that is shaking. Your kingdom is shaking. Your facility is shaking. Your environment is shaking. All the dreams you have dreamt, all of them are not come to be actual. I to realize to realization. And you worry yourself. Because you do, you lack the Holy Spirit, you cannot understand what is going on. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, this morning, baptize me with Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit come down upon me. Let your Holy Spirit come down upon me. Let your fire come down upon me. That we have to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. When there is no Holy Spirit, but your brother, when there is time for cancelling, the people of the world are going to be cancelling you. Your mother will cancel you. Your father will cancel you. Your friend will cancel you. 
Probably even your pastor will cancel you. But if there's Holy Spirit, He will sit you down. He will open your eyes. He will let you know. He will call you my son. This is what is happening. This is what is happening. Be gentle. When the Holy Ghost come upon Peter, when the Holy Ghost come upon Peter, you remember when Jesus was attacked? Jesus, Peter brought his word. He called the eye, he called the ear of one of them. But when the Holy Ghost come, what did they do? He was just facing and singing. Praise the Lord. That's how you will know the portrait of Holy Ghost. That's why you will know the portrait of Holy Spirit. He will continue to cancel you. He will be telling you this is what you need to do. The fault is not for you. It is for Almighty God. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father. My Christian journey must not be in vain. My Christian journey must not be in vain. My Christian journey must not be in vain. Father, oh Lord. Father, oh Lord. Baptize me with Holy Spirit. Baptize me with Holy Spirit. Baptize me with Holy Spirit. I see that I cannot succeed in this Christian journey without having your counsel. That's why when your son comes, you don't even know how to to counsel him. Because all what you apply is the, is the, is the wisdom of woman being. Because all what you apply is the wisdom you think. It's your past experience. You cannot compare the worldly grace. You can never compare it with heavenly grace. That's why you need to call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, mighty Father, I'm saying bye-bye to all things that is not godly in my life. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will empower me with your Holy Spirit. You will empower me with your Holy Ghost. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord that this journey in my family, this journey in my business, this journey on my children, this journey on my life, this kind of my on my Christian journey, I cannot walk it alone. I believe in a fake life and love. I'm living according to what I'm hearing. I'm acting according to what I'm hearing. I'm not acting according to the social of Holy Ghost. I'm not acting according to the social of Holy Spirit. Call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father, the genuine Holy Spirit, that receives things, that go away with things, that run away with things. Almighty Father, empower me with it. The genuine Holy Spirit, that teach me, oh Lord, to be a good husband, to be a good wife, that will not be in justice to the blessing of the husband, that will not be in justice to the blessing of the wife, that will not be in justice to the blessing of the church, that will not be in justice to the, to the blessing in the vicinity. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father, empower me with the Holy Ghost. King of King, empower me with the Holy Ghost. Oh, mighty Father, empower me with the Holy Ghost. Enough is enough. The journey has not been smooth. Yes, I call myself a Christian. I'm still sinning. Yes, I call myself a Christian. There are still fornication. Yes, I call myself a Christian. There are still adultery. Many times I've come before you, O oh Lord. I say, oh God, forgive me. Yes, I call myself a Christian. I could not choose rightly. I could not define the right before and good. And as a result of that, all this has been affecting my Christian journey. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That genuine Holy Spirit, genuine anointing, that walk according to the will of the Lord. That I know that there's no regret, but that let it fall upon me, O oh Lord. Let it fall upon me, O oh Lord. Let it fall upon me, O oh Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, I've been using camouflage in the Holy Spirit. 
For yet I'm cheating. I'm believing the camera of the planet Holy Spirit. For yet I'm lying. When coming to the speaking in tongues, I will be the first man to, to, to able to speak in tongues. But when we are talking about the character of Christianity, for those people who know me, they know there's no altar of character in my life. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, let your Holy Spirit fall upon me. Let your Holy Spirit fall upon me. Let your Holy Spirit fall upon me. When there are no Holy Spirit, that's in fear. You can't even go to, you can't even drive on the street. You can't even go up. You to even go down, to bend down, no problem. Because there's no courage. Because there's nothing that is telling you. That is Almighty God. That is working and that can save you. There's nothing that is telling you that you can able to go up and come down the mountain. Because there's nothing that is telling you you are able. Why? Because you just say on one stage of accepting Jesus Christ, you are not going forward on holiness. Yes, on the on the baptism of Holy Spirit, yes, call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, call upon the name of the Lord. Yes, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the mighty one in battle. Yes, Do not let my Christian yes, journey be on on, on, on yes, Do not let my Christian yes, journey be a wasteful yes, one. Father. Let there be difference in my life, O oh Lord. Let there be difference in my life, O oh Lord. Let there be difference in my life, O oh Lord. Let there be difference in my life, O oh Lord. When the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit fall upon you, when you fall when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you will see out of billions of people. Out of millions of people, out of hundreds of people, out of many pastors, God will use you mighty flame among all of them. Why? The difference is only three. Why they are a family? All the family are going down. All the family couldn't go forward. All the family couldn't conquer. All the family couldn't jump over. But when they are saying, Holy Spirit in you, that only God will, bring, will take you out. And he will make you a very important person among all of them. Why can't you open your mind today? Why can't you open your mind? Why can't you surrender yourself? Tell Almighty God, I've stayed in the folly so long. I've stayed in the folly so long. I've stayed in the folly so long. There's nothing to talk about about my Christianity except that I accepted you as my savior. Father, I want to exploit. King or king, I want to exploit. Or oh, my wife, I want to exploit. Oh, my husband, I want to exploit. That my wife, you see, must not go to hell. That my husband, you see, you must not go to hell. That my family member, you must not go to hell. Yes, I know, oh God, that I accept you as my savior. savior. But I'm not able to confront them. I can't bring them to Lord. Father! King of kings! Lord of lords! Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Let all those bad image. Let all those bad thoughts. Let all bad thinking. Let them go out of your mind. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. God, I know you cannot use me. Beyond this. I cannot able to achieve anything beyond this. I cannot go beyond this if you are not your Holy Spirit. Oh, my Father, a single guy, because of nothing like Holy Spirit, we fall that man down. A single woman, because of lack of Holy Spirit, we fall that man down. Call upon the name of the Lord. Just because of all that dollars, because of lack of Holy Spirit, that guy and man will, will fall. Call upon the name of the Lord. Just because of lack of Holy Spirit, you may mislead many people. Because you are going to cancel them. I come to the word that you know. Because lack of Holy Spirit, you will teach them according to your experience. We does not work, we does not matter. 
What matter more is the Holy Spirit? Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, mighty Father, I've said in the Father so long. I say in the valley so long. I say in the valley so long. Father, this morning, baptize me with Holy Spirit. Take away all the drugs out of my life. Take away all, all things that is not good out of my heart of my life. Take away secrecy, O oh Lord. Take away secrecy, O oh Lord. Take away all things that is not good in my life, O oh Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. God upon the name of the Lord. You need it. I need it. You need it. I need it. It is because of Holy Spirit. All our Father in the Lord, they are succeeding. Those people who are not succeeding in them, go and look at their life. That's what they call secret. When they are not the Holy Spirit, the secret thing will take over and will become king in your heart. We will become king in your life and we will continue to let you fall. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Send down your power, O Lord. Send down your power, O Lord. Send down your power, O Lord. When there is no Holy Spirit, you look at your dressing before you go to church. You look at the kind of thing you are going to put on before you go to church. You are not looking at you want to go and meet God. You are not looking at you want to go and see Almighty God. You are not looking at you want to go and receive from the Lord. All what you are looking at, how you are going to be the best among those people who are who dress. How you are going to attract the other people. How they will know that yes, the work you are work in the work you are doing, they can see the impact in your life. You will not bother about the power from from the from the, from the upper. You will not bother about the power from from from, from Satan. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, O oh Lord. Father, O oh Lord, I'm surrendering myself afresh. Where you have no power for Holy Spirit, if for the, to, to, to marry a good wife, to marry a good wife, to marry a good husband, become a problem. Why? Because you are going to choose by sight. You are going to choose by prosperity. You are going to choose by academics. You are going to choose by money. You are going to choose by what you see. You are going to choose because this, that man is trapped in compression. You are going to choose because that man can, can speak English. But when there is Holy Spirit, when there is Holy Spirit, you will not know the time you will marry somebody like Peter, a fisherman, but that exploit, that exploit in the Bible. You will not know when you will marry somebody like Peter, that yes, nobody recognizes him. But the Bible says, upon A, I will build my church. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. When there's Holy Spirit, you will think that why should this businessman get as you pay tax? I go, the when there's Holy Spirit, you will know the right time that this task belongs to the government. And Jesus Christ said, give what belongs to Caesar, give it to Caesar. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. When there's the Holy Spirit come upon you, when there's the Holy Spirit come upon you, then you can put your, you can put your, you can, you can put your net. You will put it in the river. You have been putting that money. You have been investing it a lot. Family default you. Your friend defraud you. The member of the church. You even believe that they are from the church. They are member of my church. Why only less is being preached? But they fraud you. Why? There is no discernment. There is no discernment. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Your children is wayward. Your children does not know how to call the name of Jesus Christ. That the name of that Jesus that can work for him. Why? Because you, okay. even yourself, there is no Holy Spirit okay. in you to direct those children. Okay. There is a problem in your house. To manage your husband okay. become problem. Okay. To manage your wife become problem. Okay. The Holy Spirit there is no more there. All what you are practicing is ego. It's what they say in the church. It's what they believe the church we will say in the church. But there is no direction. From Almighty God, you don't have counsel of. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, the Holy Spirit, 
Call upon me, sir. Call upon me. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, please, please. Call upon me. Send down your power. Send down your Holy Ghost. Send down your power. Send down your Holy Ghost. Oh, yes, continue to call upon the name of the Lord. Father, let your power call upon me. Lord, let your power call upon me. Let your Holy Ghost call upon me. Father, let your Father fire call upon me. Let me be consumed, O Lord. 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 Send your fire upon me. Fire! 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 Send it upon me, O Lord. 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 Consume me, consume my baby. Consume me. Consume me, consume my life. Consume me, consume all the irregularity, irregularity in my life. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. King of kings, send your fire off for me. Lord of Lord, send your fire off for me. Oh, mighty Father, send your fire off for me. Fire from above. Fire from above. He wanted to succeed in the military. He wanted to succeed in the family. In order to succeed on my children, in order to succeed on every time they are under for, King of King Lord of Law, Almighty Fire is enough, is enough. In my marriage, that's a failure. In my home, of training my children, that's a failure. On my business, that's a failure. That where is the proof of Holy Spirit? Where is the proof of Holy Spirit? Where is the proof of Holy Spirit? In my ministry, that's a failure. In my home, that's a failure. I'm just managing. In talk of Enjoy it. Oh, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. King God, King, let your Holy Spirit come out of me. Lord, Lord, let your Holy Spirit call upon me. Turn down your fire. Turn down your fire. Turn down your fire. Turn down your fire. Call upon it. Call upon it. You need it, my dear brother. You cannot succeed without it. The pastor you are going to meet, it is because he has Holy Spirit. Now, brother, you are seeking counsel for him. It is because he has Holy Spirit. That your wife you depend upon him. It is because you have Holy Spirit. That brother that you depend upon him. It is because you have Holy Spirit. That back understanding you are giving. It is because you do not trust in the Holy Spirit. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, send down your Holy Spirit upon me. Send down your Holy Spirit upon me. Send down your fire upon me. Send down your Holy Spirit upon me. Let me be consumed. Protect me with Holy Spirit, O Lord. Protect me with Holy Spirit, O Lord. Send down your power, O Lord. Send down your power upon me. Send down your power upon me. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. As at now you have received nothing. But now you want to receive the Holy Spirit. The King of God is. The Father of all gifts, the Mother of all gifts, call upon the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, we are praying. Mimi matami lore. Oh Lord, we are praying. Oh Lord, we are praying. Mimi matami lore. Let me walk. Baba, I'm not very good at this. Oh Lord, we are praying. I'm not very good at this. Baba, I want to be able to succeed. I want to succeed in my life. Baba, I'm not very good at this. God, I want to succeed in my life. You know, I need the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. I have problem in my life because there's no Holy Spirit. I can't succeed in my business because there's no Holy Spirit. My marriage is not succeeding because there's no Holy Spirit. Everything goes down in my life because there's no Holy Spirit. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, send down your Holy Spirit. Send down your Holy Spirit. Let me see the impact of it in my life, O Lord. Father, send down your Holy Spirit. Yeah, you are still falling on the one Christian journey. But I don't see my fornication. It's because of lack of Holy Spirit. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. You are still not succeeding in your business. It's because of lack of Holy Spirit. Call upon the name of the Lord. Your ministry is stagnant. It is not because of any other thing. Who is the owner of the ministry? Is it not Holy Spirit? It's because of lack of Holy Spirit. Call upon him. 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 
Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. It is your it is your right. It is my right. If the Christian journey is not completed. If the Christian journey is not complete, without the Holy Spirit, then that you feel it upon me. Father, yes, I've tried many years. I've tried many months. I've tried a lot. Pastor have said it. But still, I do not know it. But I know what is causing it. It's because of one thing or the other. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible lets me know. In the latter day, in the latter day, the young one will see vision. The old one will give vision. What about you? Call upon the name of the Lord. Send down, O Lord. Send down, O Lord. Send down, O Lord. Send down your Holy Spirit upon me. From this moment, O Lord, let me see the impact. 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 Let me see the impact of Holy Spirit. Now, Mighty Father, send down your Holy Spirit. Let me know that I receive something. Let me know that I receive something. Send down your Holy Spirit, O Lord. Send down your Holy Spirit, O Lord. Send down your Holy Spirit, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor Mike, are you online now? Yeah, I was trying to call you. Take, take, take over, take over, sir. Take over. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just have one prayer point before we, before we round off. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah. Just one prayer point. We have been sending posts on the platform. Better covenant than covenant. Mm. I'm going to call upon the name of the Lord. I don't know what the covenant is in your family. Listen to me. Just identify what the covenant is. Every covenant that started from your forefathers that is affecting you. Every evil cycle. Something affected your grandfather is affecting you now and is affecting your children. That's an evil cycle. You are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Every foundation of evil covenant in your life. Break in the name of Jesus. This condition of evil Break all of King or King, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every foundation of people in my life, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. King or King, I break, 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 Every foundation of evil spirit, every foundation of every foundation of passion in my life, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. Break this money in the name of Jesus. Break this money in the name of Jesus. Break this money in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I pray by the power. The blood of Jesus. Any foundation, oh Lord, in my in my life, oh mighty father, or woman, oh mighty father, or marriage, oh mighty father, or, or my job, oh mighty father, or my ministry, oh mighty father, I pray by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Every forty foundation, Father, break, 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 set me free, Father, set me free, King of Kings, set me free, oh mighty father, set me free, set me free. Let me free. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Break in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to sing the song. the song we're going to round up. If you know it, you sing it with me. Oh, go ye along my gem, oh, or Batofi, my gem, oh, to my gem, oh, she. Ye ye along my gem, oh, my gem, oh, my gem, Oh, 
I want you to cry this one loud and clear. Amen. You are going to talk to every covenant in your life. The every invisible chain of blood covenant.
Open your mouth and call upon God. Blood of Jesus. Every every foundation of blood covenant in my life, except the blood of Jesus Christ. Back to look on Jesus. in Jesus' name. Amen. It's Pastor Ali on the line. Please, you can round up the prayer for us. Round up everything, sir. Our time has gone. Okay. Our Father, we thank you once again because of the death of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name because the Bible said that the blood of Jesus Christ speak better thing than that of Abel. Father, the people have cried and they have prayed. And we pray, O oh God, over every covenant that is affecting your people spiritually, maritally, socially, academically, in every ramification of your people's life. Every such covenant, we pray that let the blood of Jesus Christ break such covenant from your people from henceforth in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, If the Son shall set us free, we shall be free indeed. The Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. God said, Is every man that and get upon the tree, and he has blotted out the android of ordinances that have been written contrary against your people. And if there is any android in of any evil covenant, and is working contrary against the plan and the purpose of God upon your people, as your people have cried up for you for help, I pray from henceforth, O God, deliverance upon your people, like bread them, deliver them, and such covenant will not affect them any longer. In Jesus' name. 
are for those who want to get married and because of evil covenant that has affected right. their marital life that evil right. cause that evil covenant i command that yoke be broken right. upon the sister over here and the brother over here in jesus name amen and for those that there is no progress in their life the grand grandfather have affected their father and that evil trends began to follow the generation and, and the light lineage of that family. Every failure in that house, every disappointment in that family, every setback with evil covenant by the anointing of Jesus, by the dead and burial and resurrection of Jesus, I command all such yoke, all such causes, all such covenant be broken out of your people henceforth. Let them be liberated and have dominion in their life in Jesus' name. Amen. As this year is coming to an end, Satan and the agent of the, of, of the kingdom of darkness will not use anybody to balance their accounts. I am maxing and praying no go. Divine protection, divine preservation upon every family on this altar, upon the brother, upon the sister, upon everyone upon this platform. Oh God, reach out to your people as the years come to an end. We shall cross all our joy and gladness and testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. From today, go and succeed. From today, go and make progress. From Amen. today, every cause in your life has been reversed. From today, God in your family, happiness in Amen. your house, deliverance Amen. in you, and dominion will follow you Amen. all the days of your life. It shall be well with you. Amen. I bless you with grace. I bless Amen. you with dominion. I bless Amen. you with power. I bless you with authority. Amen. And Holy Ghost fire Amen. that burn every child. I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to fall and to burn all the child out of your people's life and liberate and deliver them. Let the fire burn every child remain in their life. Send them free. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the ministers you have used in this platform. And thank you for all the pastors on this platform. They are so neighboring, working and praying and sweating program and, and, and strategizing to, to, to make sure everybody is blessed. All the pastor on this platform, I am asking you will lay your hand upon all the pastor. The power of God, the Amen. anointing, revival, fire will follow them in their ministry and they will toy and never, never to be weary and tired. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please, I believe there will be enough time for us on pastor's meeting tomorrow. Uh, join us. Please continue to pray for our fans. We are working on it. God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, we are people to submit their prayer requests. We couldn't touch the prayer request today uh, because of all our prayer. But do not worry. All our pastors are praying for you. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, continue to put your testimony to on prayer on, on the prayer uh, prayer request platform or channel to blog. As we are doing this thing, all, all God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to appreciate every one of you. The joy of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. You will not miss me in heaven. I will not miss any one of you in Jesus' name. And the grace of the Lord will be with every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit will be with every one of us in Jesus' name. All the yoke of our pastors have been broke. They are broken already in Jesus' name. If they are sending cancer, they need it. All any one of them. And God will elevate every one of us in Jesus' name. We shall meet in the meeting tomorrow. Submit your prayer request. Let's share the grace together. Uh, make me a Jesus Christ. 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 Jesus
Thank you. God bless you all. I love you all. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Mm-hmm.